Hey guys, welcome back. Glass Moon Gaming, another music reaction here. Um, for today is Two Pace Tuesday. I'm checking out another band that spent some time on our weekly poll. Um, we're checking out Galernius and their ulti and their song Ultimate Sacrifice. When I was looking up the video for this song, I saw they have their official music video and a live version. Uh, by this time, you should know how I do things, so we're going to check them both out. Um, the live version is more than twice as long as the music video, so we're probably going to be hearing some extended solos and such, and I just can't wait. So, after you're finished watching my video, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, there's a few things I want you to do. Um, first things first, smash that like button to make sure my videos get out to more people. Next, I want you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know whenever I drop new content. Um, and I really hope today is the day that I can earn your subscription. Finally, if you have any other bands, songs, or artists that you want to hear me react to, um, leave a comment in below and I'll be sure to add it to my list. Um, let's just get right into this. Um, the link to the original video will be in the description below. All right, coming right out, and he's immediately holding a sword. Jesus. All right, let's talk about that opening real quick. That was just some speed power metal coming right in your face. Um, yeah, right, right pump. Great instrumentalist. Great talent so far. Can't wait to see where this goes. Oh, I like that. That was pretty epic where it was like, went into double time right there. Or not double time, half time. It was in double time and I guess it came to normal time. Or came into half time, depends how you look at the time signature. But we went into a half time feel for that little epic portion right there. Looks like we got a soldier going off into battle as well. Oh, ho. those keys in the background are really nice touch. <laughs> that double pedal just insane All right, we're going to pop into something right here. So, yeah, this is just, this is great. Uh, nice speed technical metal going on. The keys in the background just give that extra touch that fills everything in. I love it.
Nice little solo there. All right, before we go any further, there's one thing I want to know. Um, you guys who know, are more familiar with this band, A, give me some background on this. But is there a purpose for them having like that one or two line in English um, as compared to everything else? I mean, I appreciate it. I just, is, is there a purpose to it? Um, I would imagine there would have to be. I just don't know what it is. Alright, before we get too much into this, which appears to be like another solo maybe, um, I also want to say that his the lead singer's voice has some pretty operatic qualities to it, where this is, I would, I don't want to put this in the realm of symphonic metal, but it's kind of, um, it's got that operatic voice to it with this fantastic metal going on behind it. Uh, I don't know if that's what all their songs are like or if that's the style they're going for but i do enjoy that i do enjoy those two mixes he, i guess what i'm trying to say he really doesn't have the typical uh metal voice i would expect but i like it A time signature change. Nice choral background. Oh, that's a shame that it ends like that with a fade out of the solo. I was enjoying it. I'm going to imagine that's why the 12 minute version exists. <laughs> so we're going to get right into this. Yeah, I mean, this was, you know, it's the only thing bad I could say about 
this video was that the sword fighters don't know how to fight with swords. Um, that was a, uh, that was pretty entertaining to watch. Anyway, let's get to this live version that I have over here, and let's go. I'm hoping to see the same excitement, and I'm expecting some some extended parts and some extended solos. All right, here we go. It's really pretty. Especially knowing what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, I like. Yep, they're just as tight as they were in the music video. Some of those operatic qualities I was talking about in the music video are really, you can really pick them out here. Yeah, I mean it's just as good as the as the uh music video. In fact, in my opinion, it's going to be 
better just because it's a live version and it sounds just as good. Uh, everything is just great. But I don't know if you can tell what I'm talking about with that operatic quality. Like there are just some things in his in his voice when he hits some of those higher notes that in like metals, it's more of a scream. You hear a lot more brass coming out of it because it's a belt. And his is more controlled, a little different timbre on it. So it, it to me sounds more like operatic at points, which is awesome. Especially when he adds that vibrato into some of those notes. Something epic's gonna happen now, I have a feeling. That was a lot of keyboards. It didn't look like a very comfortable position to be singing in. That's just me. Oh, here we go. Jesus.
Oh. This is great. That drummer is working. Oh, that is, we are going to go back and hear that note again. I will say that I wasn't expecting more of the actual song, especially of the video in the back. Uh, I wonder why they cut it out of that music video. I mean, that's like the conclusion of the song. Uh, I can only imagine they cut it out for, I'm going to use the word corporate reasons. Um, it was going to get way too long to get any airplay on TV or the radio. So they had to cut it there. And this is the true form of it. And it's great. I mean, as cheesy as that sword fight was, it was nice to have a conclusion to it. Uh, and just, just the vocal, everything through this is just great. I was expecting a long, long extended solo. And we might get it here at the end. But I was pleasantly surprised with actually getting to see how the story ended but that last note going into the what i imagine is the outro section here was fantastic so we're going to catch that again oh beauty And you know how melodic solos do it for me. Yeah, that was just amazing. Is that like their final song that they play in the show? Or like the end of a set? That feels like the end of a set, at least, if it's not the end of the whole thing. It definitely feels like the end of a set. Well, obviously it's the end of a set because they're all leaving. But the lights haven't come on yet, so that tells me there's usually an encore after it. Awesome. Yeah, that was pretty 
effing sweet. Uh, I will definitely tell you. Glad I listened to both versions of it. They were both fantastic in their own way. Um, I like the conclusion of the song that you didn't get in the music video. Um, vocals were on point. Everything was just on point with this song. Glad it was recommended to me at some point. Glad I pulled it out of the polls and didn't waste any more time just getting right to it. All right, so that's going to do it for Galernius. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but who knows? Um, don't forget, I stream on YouTube and Twitch. Um, stop by if you want. We can chat about anything you want. Listen to some music. Um, link to all my social media will be in the description below. Um, don't forget, vote, uh, vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll, uh, where you guys get to tell me what to react to every Friday. Simple as going to the community tab, finding the most recent poll that's up there, and picking the band that you want me to react to next. Whoever's the winner, yeah, you know, I get I react to that corresponding Friday. Um, with that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll catch you all next time.